Prints like this, functional in nature, are always really cool, but maybe we should go bigger. You may be wondering what this is. This is a, an, a, a lamp, like a, an armature to control a, a bulb or a lamp at this side. And then right here, this can attach to a wall. It can swivel around. These are all uh, little nuts that kind of hold the, the threaded pieces in place. So you could technically put it at any sort of angle you want. Just, just kind of like that. I saw this when Caleb was previewing the CR30 for Make Magazine. And he printed it at 200% scale. That's nice. We should go bigger, right? Yes! I mean, we did. We went bigger. Uh, so this, if you've seen the, uh, the Daedalus Prince video, the, the thumbnail is like just the tip, something like that. You, you got to see this. And let's see this, there we go. <laughs> it's, it's huge. Jeez. You don't even realize the scale of this until you hold it over your head. But also, you know, along with this piece, you saw this as well. And it actually goes on the threads. It goes on the threads. <laughs> there we go. It goes like this. This is atomic filament here, and this is filament one glint PLA, I believe it is. And we talked about an issue where, let's see if I can see it, right here, you can see a little dip right there. And that dip is because my pre-production CR30 still has a little bit of an issue, and there is a downhill from the cooling plate down to the roller right here. I've spoken with Naomi Wu, and there are new pieces to put on either side of the roller, the end roller right here, that raise it up, and it makes the bed completely flat across the top without that downhill, which will then make it easier for parts to eject and uh, disassociate themselves with the bed. So far though, I mean on this print, it doesn't really, I only notice it if I look for it, and I'm willing to bet you wouldn't even notice it if I didn't tell you about it. So we've got this part, which is this right here. There are more parts to print. You wanna see them? Yes! Ah, uh -huh. we got, oh, these are gonna be in the screen there. There's two more. These are two, <laughs> these are two more. These are, uh, let's see, this is filament one glint PLA, and this one here is, I believe this is, what is it, Amazon Basics maybe? I don't even remember. It's just, a, it's a, it was a no-name PLA. Uh, you can look right here though. That same issue that's on there is right here. And it's unfortunate, but again, I'm not really gonna notice it too much unless I'm actively looking for it. And so we've got two more functional pieces that the CR30 has produced. I wanted to make mention though, I'm using a Wisecam V3 and I shot some time lapses of these. And I named it Larry. The other ones are Mo and Curly, which I hope you get the significance there. Also, if you're looking at the time lapse on screen right now, you're gonna realize that it's crappy. And, I, <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, but uh, that's what this produces. It's meant for monitoring, I think, more than time lapse. But if you have any ideas on how to improve the time lapse ability on the Wisecam V3, let me know. Uh, Larry and myself would be much appreciative. Okay, we've got these pieces right here. They interlock. We also need a few more nuts. We've got the Atomic PLA right here. And this is that, I think, Amazon Basics. I think it was the, the silver PLA. These were, this was printed on the Daedalus machine. This was printed on my Ender 3 V2. And I think it did a fantastic job. I used Idea Maker and I downloaded a profile from their filament or from their profile library on the website. And it seemed to work really well. And. It works. But wait, there's more. We try to be as successful as possible in this, but sometimes we do end up with failures. I actually showcased this, showcased this one over on my, uh, my TikTok. I'm uh, at Joel Telling 5. Makes sense, right? But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's Canadian in nature if it's, a, if it's a puppet. And the problem was I was trying to mitigate this problem. I thought, look, if it's on the belt, what if as it's printing right before it comes off right here, what if I just kind of pry under there? I just pry just a little bit and get under there and try to release it early. And so maybe it mitigates that issue and it doesn't. It doesn't mitigate it at all. In fact, it makes a, a much larger issue that you're then sad about because you've wasted a day. <sighs> Never fear, we try again. 
So we did. We printed yet another one. And I was really excited because before I printed this one, I was in the belt printer discord and I found there was a new firmware, a new version of Marlin that Scott had compiled for this. So I loaded it on the printer and it made a horrific noise. Just terrible, awful, oh God. The reason was because it wasn't paying attention to the ZN stop and it was just hammering the head into the hard limit and bouncing it up and down. It really, really sucked. Turns out this is pre-release, so the board on there isn't final and the Z end stop here is actually plugged into dedicated BL touch ports on the board. Ugh. Uh, Carl over at Knack 3D, he was the one that's been doing a lot of work with Creality on this machine. So he said, hold on, I got you. And he compiled a special firmware for me, sent it over and it worked. Hallelujah, we were able to get the printer going. Believe me though, for a moment there, I was really worried and frustrated and about to throw in the towel. So we got a good print out of it, but well, my joy was short-lived. See how this spins just nice, just easily on these threads. Super nice, super nice. Remember, I loaded a new firmware on this machine and I'm gonna tell you what the problem is, but if you, if you have an idea, pause the video right now and put it down in the comments and I'd love to hear your guesses. Okay, the easiest way I can showcase to you what this problem is, ready? Do you see a height difference? <laughs> this one is longer. And the reason it's longer is because I loaded the new firmware, so the, the Z steps were reset back to what was installed on the machine before and not the adjusted Z steps I did and talked about in that previous video. So that means it was advancing on Z a little bit more than it should, which then made an oblong part. And unfortunately, nothing will grip this unless I, I somehow modify the, the nut model. I mean, it'll still, it'll still interface just like that. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is a bit of a failure and needless to say, I was really sad about that because I wanted a successful print. So I went through the settings and I changed the Z steps and we did, we did one more. And I gotta tell you, this one on Twitter, super popular, people loved it. Because it looks like this. <laughs> Look at that. You can see there is an issue right here. Oh yeah, that is very pronounced. You can, you can definitely see this is where uh, it first tried to uh, go downhill, the bed wouldn't release, and then it just evens out. Once you get past that part, it's smooth sailing. But have a look. So we started out, well here, I can show you. Okay, remember this is the, uh, the generic one, I believe it's Amazon Basics, uh, I don't have the spool for that. But however, the multicolor gradient one, this is the Metal X Sparkling from Strong Hero 3D. The next one, this blue is Jesse PLA and it is the blue moon. And it looks fantastic. Next up is Halo's new gold dream right here. We've got the, oh, this is a gentleman's gray from Prusa right here. And at the very end, it is a, uh, the marble from Airy One. In fact, there it is. <laughs> there it is right there. So this was done after I set the Z steps. We should be good to go. In fact, we can verify. Okay. Well, the only thing left to do is to kind of assemble it. What do you say? Yes! Uh, it's very large. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> This is, this is insane. <laughs> wow. Like the, the sheer scale of this thing is, is amazing. So here we go. I've got, this is, <laughs> what have I done? 
Uh, this is this is six hundred percent scale. Here, wait, we'll do we'll do an arch. Oh, right over my head. There we go. This is six hundred percent scale, and this is a model by the person who I put notes on in the shared folder. Dang it, I forgot his name. And honestly, it's it's in a text document at home. And so here it is right here. It's this person. He's wonderful. I think his name is, on Twitter is Igor. If I'm correct, Igor has a profile on Thingiverse and the link to this model and the remix, which I used, will be down in the description. This is, this is insane. <laughs> What do we do next? Because I need this right here, this, this spot that I'm kind of wiggling, that needs to connect to something on the floor. You saw in the small one, which I, okay. I'm living dangerously. So you saw on this one, it has a point that it can attach to the wall. And while I think that would be cool, I don't know if that's quite appropriate for this one. And so what I'm looking for is a way to attach this to something on the ground. I would love something that was on wheels that I could roll around. And then on the other side, no, this, what's the other side? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna break anything. This side, are we, are we safe? Yep. Okay. This side right here, this side, it's an Audi. It still has support, don't worry, I'll take that off. But this model scaled up 600% as threads. And on this end, I would like a model, I think, that could hold a light bulb or a, a, socket, a socket for a lamp or a torch or something, a flashlight, an LED strip. I would love to hear your ideas because this is so close to being finished and I think this could be useful. I just, uh, I'm gonna need some help figuring out what's at the end. <laughs> well, this was fun. Uh, as you know, I do like to embiggen things quite a bit, and this printer has allowed me to do it. Unfortunately, we are running into some issues, but Naomi is sending new pegs that hold the roller up a bit, which then make it a flat surface, and it should be able to print without these problems on it. I'm also really excited because I'm really looking forward to hearing your suggestions for this. I don't know what to put at the, at the end of either side. Uh, I have some ideas of my own, and if we could mish them and mash them together and come up with a a beautiful idea. I think that's what we'll run with. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, practice kindness aggressively, and as always, high five.